When I first put on a VR headset, it, I was blown away by the feeling of it. The immersion could be so terrifying. You can see people stand on a ledge in fear for their life, even though they're just standing in their living room. It's amazing how quickly you can transport people in somewhere and they believe it to be true. Um, and emotively, um, the connection that you have with characters in a video game now is so much more. Um, the story and the way people talk to you, it's as, as though they are talking to you. And that's really amazing. Another fun thing about VR is you can wear an avatar and you can be anything in VR. So as a tutor, you could dress as Henry VIII if you wanted to, um, role play with the children a scene, and that interaction is going to stick with them way clearer into the future than anything you could teach them out of a book. It's also really exciting for adult education in that you can imagine mounting a camera on top of a surgeon's head while they undertake brain surgery and all of the students being able to watch live while that happens. So there's the levels of education are huge and kids might not even have to go to school. The classrooms could be bigger and then people who may not have access to great education now could just have a headset and be able to access to top quality education from home. Communication in VR. Communication is something that I've started to really delve into, um, more out of a hobby than, than anything else. There is um, places you can go on, online. There's one that I like called uh, VR Chat, and there are others called Alt Space and uh, many more. And what, what they are is they're places that people in VR go to meet one another. And what I found is people within there at the moment the early adopters are amazing people sometimes they are the kind of person who is afraid to leave their house but VR gives them that freedom to meet people around a campfire or there are people who have transgender body issues who are able to be anyone in VR and it gives them freedom to be who they are um, so I just love that virtual reality is giving people this this like level in their life they didn't have before now and I on Sunday nights sit around a campfire a digital campfire with French people Canadian people American people and we just talk about our day as if we were really sat around a campfire and I love that Initial predictions for VR were really optimistic um, and now that the headsets are starting to roll out we're getting a more realistic picture of how it's going down. Um, the main reason being that the, the hardcore units, the Vive and the Oculus, are to the average consumer still very expensive. The headsets themselves may not be, the price point of those are quite low, but the the powerful machines you need to run them are putting the price point up to like £2,000 and people don't, it's very rare that you would have that kind of computer just lying around your house. You probably already are a hardcore gamer if you have and so that's a smaller market. Um, cheaper options like the Gear VR, the mobile phone market is, is going to be embraced much greater by businesses I think um, and that's really smaller experiences. You'll be able to go into a store in VR, walk up a digital aisle, pick up a digital t-shirt and try it on your avatar to see if you like it before you purchase it. And I imagine Amazon will go that way where you can almost, Amazon will be like going to a store again. We have an expression in England called apples and oranges. It's like comparing two really good things that don't need comparison. Um, AR is going to be more something we use in a day-to-day -day life. Um, it's going to be like the movies, like Minority Report. You can imagine people wearing um, the hollow glasses and having a floating recipe above them while they work in the kitchen or um, having a dashboard display that shows you all the information about your car that you need while you're driving. Or even, um, I had to go on the Google Glass last year and I was blown away because it allowed me to translate some text on a wall into another language. And I felt like a robot. It's so cool that you're able to do that. So AR is, is definitely a much more functional tool. It's gonna be 
almost like smartphones changed our lives. AR is going to be that times 100. It's just going to be something that I imagine it's a longer way off, but everyone will be using AR.